Yo, what's up guys? We got Pogamer. Today we have an OU Shut On Live featuring Swords Dance Mew. This team was passed to me by PKS. I think they peaked like 1850 or something with it. So, looks pretty uh, solid, looked pretty fun. A lot of Pokemon you don't actually use too, too much in the OU tier. If you guys want it, check out my website, Pogamer.com. It should be in the OU section of the site. But let's go over the team real quick and, you know, if y'all enjoy at any point in this life, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I'm on my way to 300k. Swords Dance, Cobra Berry, Mew. Cobra Berry is there for the knockoffs from Weavile. We live it and we Drain Punch the health all the way back. Sucker Punch is good for Dragapult, Blacephalon, and then Psychic Fangs is your stab move, letting you deal with Toxapex and Buzzwool and things like that too. Uh, I'm pretty sure this can beat Corviknight 1v1. I think, anyway. But uh, I, I really think it can. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. On it but overall I mean it looks pretty solid like I'm excited to try out this Mew we have Stealth Rock counter Chansey counters there obviously for Landorus and just any physical attack in general I mean Fizz Def Chansey just takes every hit so getting off a counter you know doing basically a quadrillion damage based on your HP ditto one of my favorite Pokemon to use ever because you know show me your set give me your set oh you want to sweep me now nah, I'll take it back so it's got Jirachi as well with Trick a little stall breaker right here. I think tricking things like Corviknight actually can go a long way. As well as healing with support for the team. And U-turn. We have Quagsire, so we don't have to worry about too much physical setup anyway. I mean, we have a lot of physical setup deterrent. And then last but not least, we have Moltres. Another Pokemon that it's been a minute since we used. But it's a Heatran answer for the team. We got the Scorching Sands, the Flamethrower, Defog, and Roost. No Mystical Fire. So I am uh, huh. haven't seen that in a minute. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to try this out. I think the one big thing is that we really have to depend on Mew with this squad because, for example, Dragapult, yeah, Chansey walls, but that's, it can't really do much back. Dragapult walls it too. However, if it's like Dragon Dance Dragapult, obviously Quagsire doesn't care at all about that Pokemon. Wait, we're Water Absorb. Are we supposed to be Water Absorb? I'm assuming we're supposed to be Water Absorb. Okay, never mind then. We're, I guess this is the answer to, uh, huh, I guess we're supposed to be Water Absorb. Okay. Well then, so, Swords Dance Mew, Drain Punch, Sucker Punch, ooh, it's kind of decent here, I'm not going to lie, it's not gonna, I'm not going to lie at all, I like Moltres as well, 1, 2, 3, dealt with, uh, the Torn is probably going to be one of the more annoying Pokemon to deal with on this squad for sure, I'm also liking Jirachi's ability just to trick and cripple something immediately, something like uh, their Torn for instance, or their Slowbro, I like that a lot, hmm, this is going to be cool. This is going to be fun. I'm going to start with Jirachi. I think just the fast Scarfer is just really, really nice uh, to begin with. My Quagsire deals with their Zero Aura, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but I know if they do get up Rocks here, it's going to be fairly annoying for me too. And they could just be Choice Scarf themselves. Uh, I mean, there's a chance I burn them as well with Flame Body, so I guess it's good for me. They make a good mid-ground. Uh, the Scouting for Fire Punch, just getting in Slowbro anyway. Relatively nice play, like overall. So bring out Chansey as they teleport. If they go he trying to try and beat me 1v1, I do have Moltres. I don't have to worry too much. And uh, honestly, let's go ahead and counter this guy real quick. Goodbye, Cartana. <laughs> you deserve a good rest. So that's one thing that's great for Moltres, honestly. Uh, probably going to keep its item for the most part in this game. I'm just getting rid of that. And I mean, while I am weaker to things like Heatran and stuff, I should be alright overall, especially because we have Moltres right now just to come out on the Stealth Rock. And we're just going to throw out a Scorching Sands here. I uh, don't want to defog immediately, just in case they want a Toxic. If I burn Slowbro, it's in my favor, obviously. I mean, nothing really likes being burnt. Yeah, nothing. Moltres and... Yeah, these guys aren't going to come in on me. Beautiful. So they go for Taunt. Which is completely fine. Uh, I... I am going to make the Chansey play, because I think that you go Slowbro here. Yep. And this will allow me to heal up. And basically tank a hit from Rillaboom and all these other guys. So, uh, and plus I can seismic toss twice the Heatran. So I, I mean, this just allowed me to heal up basically. I think it was really, really good for me. The cool thing is with their Heatran being that low, if I trace Rillaboom, it's actually looking pretty bad for them. I would say anyway. I'll click Stealth Rock here. I would prioritize defogging, but I don't feel like I need to. And this is looking really good for SD. Yeah, SD Mew looks really nice as well. I kind of wish I had a Toxic on this thing. I'm going to go Quagsire just in case they Scald. Yep. Perfect. And now we can get off a Toxic as they go for Future Sight, most likely. Oh, they just teleport out. Awesome. And I'm assuming Rillaboom comes out now to maybe go for Knockoff. So this is really good because that's really setting up for what I need. 
chance he just comes in on these guys. Mew is just coming to win at the end. Wow. I, uh, I definitely did not expect them to have Toxic on their, uh, their Torn right there. I like Jirachi. I kind of doubt they have knockoff now. And what I want to do is I just want to trick... Whether I trick Slowbro, whether I trick Heatran, this is all really good for me. So I get a Cobra Berry there, which is pretty nice. Which leads to believe this thing has Body Press. I might as well go for Iron Head once as it's trying to teleport because if it isn't able to, I can beat it 1v1. I'm assuming they may go out into Heatran eventually, but... Big Zara comes out. Zara can go for knockoff. I do have a Cobra Berry, which is very funny. Uh, so I'm just going to U-turn, tank the Cobra Berry, and bring out... That's in range of Sucker Punch now. So, I mean, things are looking really, 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 really good. Especially because I just get to go Quagsire now. It's most likely walls their slow row infinitely. And just click the Earthquake. Yeah, I'm not feeling too... I'm feeling pretty good in this game. I'm going to be honest. I just go Mew now, right? Because they teleport out into whatever, and I'm good. If Tornadus comes out and toxics me, I Swords Dance. Heatran comes out. I'm just going to Drain Punch this thing right now and get rid of the Heatran, or at least try to get rid of Heatran, excuse me. As they go for Taunt, anticipating me to go Moltres, which is very fair. Uh, no reason not to click Psychic Fangs there. Beautiful. So the first KO from you. If they Toxic me now with their Tornadus, they lose 1v1, and Moltres is going to be these guys. They can't win. That's it. It's over. Cart was my main way of beating things, and then running Taunt, which means there's no Toxic on Heatran. It just opened up a lot. I'm fairly confident it's over. <laughs> If they go Tornadus, I just stay in. Because if they toxic me, I can always heal and wish back this Pokemon anyway. Zero Aura will never be able to... Yep, yep. I was waiting for that forfeit. So, beautiful. Nice little 6-0 just to start it off. <laughs> Score does not matter at all. <laughs> but people like when you get 6-0. So, oh man, that's bringing me back to DVP. All right, so this one. <sighs> Quagsire. One, two, three check potentially. Eh, less you for sure. Um, I gotta be careful. Me not being unaware again is pretty eh in this scenario. I kind of like the ditto though. I like seeing what they have and just kind of using it to my advantage. So I'm gonna go ditto. Again, just to see. Uh, Ditto's cool here because I can copy Kartana and Kartana is really nice with like knockoff in this game. This guy's name is Learn This Lesson. What you about to teach me, Sensei? What's about to happen, bro? Man, the dude's name is Learn This Lesson. They have the cool trainer. They, they'd be like, if this was like an anime or something, they're like the bully. <laughs> Are you about to learn a lesson, man? That's it. Anyway, I let off with the wrong Pokemon. <laughs> I thought I said ditto. Whatever, I U-turn there, revealing I'm Scarf. We can bring out Young Chansey as they go for U-turn as well. I'm not sure if they go Kartana. If they do, I'm just going to counter it immediately and get rid of it because they can't kill me one hit. Also, I have no information on Dragapult at all. So they go Kart. I'm just going to counter here. If they SD, I'm going to have a ditto. So, nice. We can go for Stealth Rock now. I could also counter again, to be fair, but uh, they doubled out into Cart here. Uh, I'm kind of feeling the exact same thing. I'm just going to go for counter. If they SD, I literally sweep them, so I'm not, I'm not worried at all about that. And we'll just go for Seismic Toss. Rocks against me don't really matter, whereas weakening their team is just way better overall. What are you doing, my friend? I'm going to go for counter again. You're going to SD on me? I will get this off. You know how good or how annoying Chansey is for you? SD up again, my friend. See what happens when I copy you and just literally knock off sweep you. <laughs> anyway, uh, Jirachi is not necessary in this game. So we sack Jirachi here. Chansey can just beat everything 1v1. We go for another SD, which is wild. Just gonna healing wish that way they can't get a speed boost if they were a speed boost, and then bring out my ditto to copy them, and I think win. I think I just win. <laughs> Legitimately, I think I win. <laughs> Could be wrong though, but I mean this is plus four. So this is what I'm like thinking like, and plus I always have that healing wish at the end of the day to save my Pokemon, so I should be okay. I would have loved for this to happen a little bit later in the game. But my opponent opted to SD multiple times. So they're going to throw away Coco here, which will be 2 it KO'd easily. 
which means they go right out into Halucha now. Obviously, I go out to Quagsire. Yeah, I go Quagsire here. Mm, I think I go Moltres, actually. Because I'm not worried about their cart. Because like I said, I can beat them 1v1. Quagsire actually still deals with Melmetal, uh, Landorus, and also SD... Oh my god, SD, uh, SD me looks amazing. So um, they might be Stone Edge, I guess. You a demon for doing that, fam. You know I have a... I mean, they must know I have a Quag, but... The chance of this plus flamethrower plus everything else potentially burning them is so nice. So, bring out Quag now. We we'll go for recover. They may just switch out into Kartana anyway. Ooh, that did some big damage. I can obviously recover up again, so I'm actually just gonna scald again, or as they crit me, which is really unfortunate. Uh, they have no Shadow Ball switchings though. They don't. Melmetal still looks really good. I'm gonna bring out Ditto now as they go Melmetal. Uh, I don't know if they're Assault Vest or not, but if they see her power here, it's better for me to get a Mew and SD up, I think, so because of my Cobra Berry. So I'm gonna do that. So I'd rather go Chansey now as they see her power. Softballed up. Their max speed is no big deal. I just gotta beat them down with Mew. Chansey's a demon, man. <laughs> Being able to just take every hit is insane. Alright, we're just Seismic Toss here. Actually, I counter. Because if they SD, I win. I, I reverse win, so... Yeah, if they SD, I literally knock off sweep. So that's fine. Lanners comes out. Gonna go ditto here. See what their set is. Hmm. Can I... U-turn here and bring out you on the U-turn of their own. I think, I still think I SD win. I feel like I do. So double iron bash and then I swords in up. You're trying to kill me. Okay, that dies to sucker. So I don't have to worry about that. They go Melmetal, which means I bring out you. I click Double Iron Bash to ensure damage. Plus, it gives me a chance to flinch them as well. But, but like that's already in range of plus two on my attack, and I have Sucker Punch. So at the end of the day, I'm not trying to flinch them to death here. It just happened to be that way. Okay, perfect. That's all I wanted. That's literally what I wanted. So now I win the game. Because Sucker Punch knocks out Pult. And I can SD again on this guy, so go for that. I win the game. Nice. Everything from you. Goodbye, my friend. Peace. Hey, hey. If all I need was the damage and I needed their Melmetal go for super power there. Good game. So that way I could SD up and then do my damage back. Get my Drain Punch off. Lovely. Are they banded? They're 62%. All right, so we're in the 1800s now, SD Mew, not bad. Uh, not being unaware of Quagsire, I mean, in the rain matchup, Water Absorb looks great. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not sure if this is on purpose. I really am not sure if this is on purpose. Uh, this looks like an SD Mew game, especially if I can trick this guy. Yeah, I like Jirachi a lot. But I want to I wanna trick Corviknight so I can uh, beat it. Okay, we keep Mew healthy. Actually, tricking Garchomp would be really nice, too. I'm going to lead off it and see if I can get a trick on something immediately. Also, Pex, obviously, being trick would be nice, too, because that's a defog on that demon. Hmm. Not sure. I just like this also because Lele is annoying, too. Going to trick immediately. Perf literally best case scenario. And what I'm gonna do here is it might not make a lot of sense, but I'm gonna go for Iron Head so that way if they U-turn on me and do breakthrough, they get Rocky Helmet damage on them. That's that's what I want. So I want them to take damage so that way my Mew can do work versus them. Okay, dude. Go ahead. Do your thing. 
I could scald me here. Do I want to SD now with Mew? Ugh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I do. I mean, this mon's annoying. I think I try to burn it with you. They're shed shell, most likely. Yeah, I think I go Moltres and just try and burn. Because if I burn you, you're not a threat. So they are knockoff. Recover knockoff. I don't know if this is unaware. But I like Jirachi as a mid ground. Just gonna click Iron Head. I'm not gonna bother clicking anything else in front of this guy. This could be unaware. Corviknight comes out. I'm gonna click U-turn here and bring out Quagsire because I have my uh, my Rocky Helmet on it. So again, we're doing this all for Mew. So yeah, we got that chip. Perfect. Clef comes out. I, I don't know what the Clef the Clefable set is. Still gonna do the exact same thing. And I'll play a game with rocks too if I, if they want to. Because with Corviknight being tricked. Uh, there's a chance that SD card jump reverse sweeps them too. Especially if I force that every single time. Best case is they go out to like, I would say Weavile and stuff like that, but... Nah, they don't. I would rather get knocked off here than put them in range of EQ. Because I want to SD up with my Mew, like I said. So, we're in Earthquake here as they go Clefable. Playboy's leftovers, which means they are not unaware. That's awesome. I don't know their particular set overall, but I like that. Ditto always helps me not lose to Garchomp, which is important too. And that's not going to do that much at all. Yeah. Nice. Moonblast, Stealth Rock. Hmm. Go Chansey. Just softballed up. Come on, bring out Weavile or something like to do damage to me. Stop playing the defensive game. I mean, they should be playing the defensive game. But still. Right back out to Quag, we go. Nice. That's the play I like to see. So we get a little... I want Lele to take Stealth Rock Chip because if it's Specs, we'll find out right now. Oh my god, that is Specs. <laughs> We could go Garchomp. That is 64%, so that has to be spec. So that's good. So I need. I think you're in range of plus two with your own Psychic Terrain, which is nice. If I U-turn and I hit Garchomp, that's bad for me. Huh? Just Iron Head. It's fine. It's fine. Yep. Corvi is the good one to hit. So I get a U-turn off now. Could be worth potentially burning them with Moltres if they don't roost. So I'm going to go Moltres here. Yeah, if I get the burn, perfect. Okay, okay, so things are set up for Mew. Things are really, 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 really set up for me now. Awesome. This mod technically can probably stall out like everything in their team, to be honest, but I'm not pressured. The side shock there. I'll bring out Mew. Swords Ants up. SD up on Mew. Because I'll be able to bop the Toxapex. So I go for this. I guess they could be Pyopa Berry. We'll find out. If they go hard Weavile, I get to Dream Punch them after. So Nice. So we kill Toxapex. Awesome. Then they're going to go Weavile to Revenge Kill Me. Which is not Choice Band, so has no chance of knocking me out. Eat the Culber. Get the Drain Punch. Kill him back. Mew, uh, Lele dies. Garchomp might die. It's clicking Outrage. Hmm. I want to healing wish this bad boy. I think I sat Quags out here. And click Recover. Dude's outraged, what the hell? <laughs> I 
As long as I can heal and wish back, I'm good. Because I have Sucker to knock out the Garchomp. So Mew, Mew's just putting in some freaking work, guys. Mew's really just putting in some work these games. Hmm. Lack of healing wish is annoying. They either Psychic or Psy Shock here. They got Earthquake. They Psychic me. I know their specs, so I'm a healing wish into my Mew. Can healing wish right now into Mew. SD up again. So I can knock out Lele. Because that's Scarf Guard Chomp. I'm assuming you go Corvi here. Bring back Mew. Outrage did only 59%, which means I can Swords Dance up here and then Drain Punch back on the Garchomp to knock it out. Or I knock out Clefable or Lele in Terrain. And I think that's a game. Fifty-nine. Yeah, I joined puncher. There we go. All right, so Garchomp goes down. I think I copy back Lele as well and win. If that's Spadef Clefable, which I think it is, considering how weak they are to Toxapex. I think we win anyway. And if they go out into Corviknight, just Drain Punch and they can't kill me. So all they did was give me damage on. Uh, Lele dies to plus two Psychic Fangs in terrain. And we've basically set up for the Mew to sweep. That's the perfect Mew set, man. All right, like, I mean, look at it. There's no way Clef dies. But I think I just win if I trace their Lele, so... If they go Lele first, they lose. Well, Spadef Clef might just die. Yeah, they go Clef, which is what they had to. Okay. It's like Moonblast here, which should kill Clef back, I think. Because that's Fizdef Clef. Ah, oh, I don't kill it back. Oh, now this game has to be long... That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Damn it, man. <laughs> ah, now I have to go back and forth between these guys. Like S toss forever. I can still click S toss even if they do their thing. 13. I have 14 of these guys. Ah! Uh, why does that do so little? How much did I live on with Garchomp? Okay, so maybe the play was... No, no, no. no they did it too much. How much did they do hours this time? The second time they did hours, they did 63. So if they did the 59 again, then the play was the SD again, and then Sucker. Oh, my God. I'll be here forever. <laughs> no! A perfect new game. Mew did so much work, too. Seism Toss. How many softballs they have? I need them to let me trace their Lele. <laughs> so they can lose the Psychic. Hmm. I just go you and click softball. Then they go Lele themselves. Yes, yeah, so they go Lele now. Oh, well, they don't go Lele. I'm surprised. Maybe they're scared about losing. They can meet, like if I size and toss into Lele. No, I thought the game was over. Ugh. 
Clef not being able to kill Clef was disappointing. Swords Dance, ditto. Sides and Toss wasn't killing. No! I mean, technically, it's not over technically, right? Because I can just sit here and roost and waste a couple turns. I guess you could have Thunderbolt. One. Roost a couple times. A couple more Psy Shocks I take from them. Okay, I go Chansey here. Eat that up. I go back to Ditto and reset to Rain, and then Chansey can sleep on these guys. Reset to rain there, and I think I throw off. Uh... Well, I'm not specs on this one, which is a damn shame. I gotta just go for psychic here and pray they go Corvi and throw it away. And then like, I actually beat Corvi 1v1. Like, what a spin up drop, because I'm not specs, right? Yeah, I'm not specs. <laughs> oh boy. A critical would nowhere even hit. Fourth gen crit would. No! Can I win from here? Hmm. He was just shy of KOing two Pokemon, man. Well, me, Clefable wasn't just shy, but the Garchomp, man. On Fort. I think I just... I don't think I can... Can I win from this spot? Huh. If I crit Clefable, actually... If they U-turn out to Clefable instead of Roosting for whatever reason, I can win, actually, yeah. If they U-turn out to Clefable... And I crit Clef from 93%, 1.5 times, and then plus in terrain. Maybe that's enough to kill it. I don't know, man. It's Clef. That mom be living everything. Yeah, they just roost. Would they go Lele here, and then I have no hits left? No, oh, whatever. I'll just go for a Hail Mary trying to kill Lele. Okay. <clears throat> nice. Well then. Are you 2 a KO by Moonblast? Do you take 12 from Stalder Rock, which means you'll be at 24. Moonblast did 6%. No, you're not. Well, my friend, you may have just uh, you may have just made some throw plays right there, because all I got to do is softball and click Stalder Rock a couple times. <laughs> yeah, I'm back in this game. I am back in this game. Softball once. I got a million counters to throw away too. I'm back in this game, baby. Just because I can copy them with ditto. Just counter forever. That's it. I guess I'll pause it, guys, until I either eventually give up or they do. And we'll be right back. Yeah, <laughs> but I won. <laughs> So basically what happened was, because I called the Lele coming in on the Psyche, and because Lele died. Now, let's say, it did 30%, so I don't even know if the crit on, on I don't even know how much Lele, top of Lele, does to Lele, because Psychic isn't really in its thing, but, that's not it. I don't know how much top of Lele does to top of Lele, but, okay, so. 29 and 35, they were at 38, so if I could I could struggle in the following turn and kill them. Um, because my ditto would always live and all I had to do was get it in, basically what I did was I sat there with Chansey. I never clicked soft boiled until I was like at 8 HP. Then I soft boiled up while they were wasting Moonblast and Flamethrowers. Once they got in Corviknight, I switched immediately into, what they should have done was double into Clef, but that wouldn't have made a difference anyway because I would have been faster because of my choice scruff and I would have just wasted some soft boils. So because Ditto is technically never using any of its PP, yeah, because Ditto was ever never using any of its PP and it was always using the uh, the opponent's PP uh, and I had pressure as well from them, no matter what they clicked here, I'd be good to just roost, roost, roost. So technically, they well, what they should have done was infinitely switch. Uh, and that wouldn't have done anything because eventually I would have brought in a Corviknight and just defog so I had no rocks to deal with at all uh, But that's what they I think should have done there 
but I'm glad we were able to uh, win that game, even though it looked like we we definitely lost. Ooh, they have a dart and a dart! Yo! Okay, so this looks like a Mew game as well. This looks just like a Mew game. And I've seen Mew games before. There's a few things I want to do in order to win with Mew. Uh, one, yo, a fun. The first thing I want to do is either trick Ferrothorn or Toxapex. Those are like the big things. If I trick Toxapex, it's not a threat. If I trick Ferrothorn, I mean, that's amazing for me. Uh, so I definitely want to lead off with that. Because uh, I have Healing Wish as well, so I, I don't have to worry about being like dealt with there. And the cool thing is as well, and this is why the Quagtire is underwear <laughs> over Water Absorb. It's that mod. So, yeah. Again, Ferrothorn or Toxapex, I want to trick no matter what. If I can stop them from going for Haze, Toxic Plus in their own thing, that's great. Really good play on the opponent's turn there. Going out into their Urshifu. As I get a choice ban, which is, I mean, I'm okay with that as well. Huh. Very nice double on their part too. But this potentially gets them burnt by Moltres, so good double. Yeah, potentially getting them burnt by Moltres though. We're gonna roost here. Tyranitar might be their rocker. They end up bringing out uh, Toxapex though. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Scorching Sands here. Burning this thing is gonna put it like, probably be the difference between Mew beating it 1v1. As they toxic me. All right, good to know. So they're toxic. We'll bring out Chansey here. I give them a Choice Scarf, which is annoying. I wonder if this is the rock. I'm gonna counter. Because Crunch is so free versus me. Yep, so this is Choice Ban. Get this throw out of here. <laughs> Get out of my sight. Thank you. So the rocker is Ferrothorn. Good to know. We still have Moltres at 93%, so we're good. Bring out Quag right now. Awesome. So getting rid of Tyranitar is, I guess it's big in general just for Moltres. Ah, the Water Absorb is here. And now I just Scald Burn. If I burn Ferrothorn, it's a wrap, basically. I know this is the rocker. So we're going to bring you out and just default immediately. Again, like, this is so good because not having to deal with Tyranitar is amazing. I'm assuming they U-turn here, potentially. It doesn't matter. I always go out into... Even the close combat, they're no longer banded, so... And we always click Scald because if I get the burn on Ferrothorn, it's a wrap. Awesome. So now, that's going to help Mew. That's going to help me. The unfortunate part is, again, I get that thing a Choice Scarf. I defog immediately. You can always go Quagsire. <laughs> I don't have to do anything else. Not having to deal with a Tyranitar is so nice. I'm just going to Earthquake here, considering I already burnt the Feral Thorn. They only have five Surgeon Strikes left, so soon they can't even touch Mew. They may double, but I'm not even sure what they double. Yeah, like what does this do for them? Do you U-turn? Do you bring out your, your Rillaboom? A Toxic here. I, don't know, I thought they go Rillaboom, but they ended up staying in, so that's great. I'm going to go Mew now and set up SDs in their face. Not sure what they expect from this Pokemon, to be honest, but I think I need a uh, plus four in order to kill Zapdos, maybe? Potentially? Toxapex comes out right there, so I mean, I definitely need a plus four for you. That's a dead Mon, and then I think Mew wins. Yeah, because that's a dead Mon, for sure. I take the helmet, which is whatever. That's a dead Mon, for sure. That doesn't kill me back at all. Awesome. And then they have like no real offensive pressure from here. I can always healing wish back my Mew as well, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna go out into Quagsire. That's a damn shame. I'm gonna bring out Jirachi here because I know they're locked into Aqua Jet, so it's a very low risk play. Very, very, very low risk play. It should be a game at this point because Mew already did the damage I needed. Even if I give Urshifu the choice band back, that's actually better for my Mew. 
Awesome. Like I said, that's better for me. Whether they opt to close combat here or not. They could U-turn. They do. Nice. Grassy terrain's gone. We don't gotta worry about that no more. Just bring out Chansey and heal. <laughs> don't gotta worry at all about you. Set up my Stealth Rock here as well for that Urshifu running around, being annoying. Hmm. I guess that Urshifu could be a threat now. The fact that they have all them hazards up, yo, or lags, bro. And their Leech Seed, okay. Jirachi, mm. Trick of Choice Scarf. Yep, Tricking Choice Scarf is my best play. Uh, if Urshifu gets Choice Scarf, then it's not threatening. If Ferrothorn gets it, then it's not threatening either, so. Gonna Healing Wish here. Into Mew. I'm going to SD up. Quagsire plus Chansey should be able to beat Urshifu. So, and I just click, uh... Yeah, I just click Drain Punch here, right? Actually, do I SD again? I SD again, because if they go into Zapdos, I think I kill it. I hope I do. <laughs> Bro, this Mon is so weak. <laughs> it's actually pathetic. <laughs> This mod is so weak, it's actually pathetic. Like, how weak it is. <laughs> it really is, bro. It really, really is. Anyway, I'm getting a spike so I can beat the Zapdos 1v1. I bring out Chansey here on the Roost. I think I asked Toss immediately, actually. Because I think, like I said, I think Quagsire can win, and I want to make sure our Shifu can't come in later. Or Feral. So we get rid of Feral, which is awesome. Obviously, your Shifu can come in and take all them hazards. But like I said, I think that as long as... I'm pretty sure this is Heat Wave on the Zapdos. I gotta be eating this up. I should go for Surgeon Strikes here. It's not going to beat Zapdos down by any means. Well, actually, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, it did. Nice. So I guess if, unless I get paralyzed, or uh, which I should, I guess I do lose to Urshifu now. Man, maybe Quagsire eats. I don't know. It's like multiple times I wanted it to be... Uh, <laughs> Multiple times I wanted to be choice ban and not. I think I die. I think I, I feel like I live, dude. I feel like this thing lives. It's Quagsire. Yep. Good game. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. So we're good. Nice. All right. We're gonna end on that, guys. So undefeated. Swords Dance Mew. 1841. 1840 plus. Not bad. Big Mew did it. That Feral Thorn was annoying. The spikes ended up doing it for me as well. I I, I had a feeling Quagsire lived, but like. You too. I was, you know what I was messing it up? What I was uh, switching it up with? Choice ban Adam and Teraki on. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shoot. It was a roll, but screw it, man. That's Pokemon at the end of the day. Oh, wait. No, I was at 69%. Get the hell out of here. If they got that roll, I'd be mad. <laughs> I'll be all enjoyed. SD Mu putting in a ton of work the entire life. It, was, it just sucks because, like, I mean, you saw Zapdos at plus four took nothing. So... It just sucks that, um, also the tricking Rashifa was so funny, like it was a threat as Scarf, it was a, as, it was a threat as Ban, but yeah, you just saw it took absolutely nothing every single time. Anyway, the reason I started to strike at the end is because if they stayed in Rashifu and they died, uh, Azathos with Volt Switch, I don't think they'd have a Hurricane personally, 
because uh, you want to be able to defog with that. Oh, if you can, you want to try and defog with it. They're obviously physically defensive as well, so they have no special attack investment. So if they're Heat Wave plus Volt Switch Roost Defog, which is what I was leaning towards, then that would open up the door for uh, for Quagsire to just beat a 1v1. If they're Hurricane, then I pray I dodge a couple times. That's it. That's it. Then they could also defog. <laughs> and then they, I couldn't dodge, but that's life. But anyway. Hope y'all enjoyed Swords Dance Mew. Definitely uh, games that were like all over the place, but I mean, we went undefeated. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, my friends.